Thank you very much for joining me on this Thursday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. It is the last day of the hurricane season. That doesn't mean we can't see activity outside of the hurricane season we have. Now, usually the outside of kind of a hurricane season stuff or the off season activity happens early in the season. So May, typically we see things starting to spin up. But even in December, there have been 28 systems or at least named storms on record that have formed in and around December. 11 have actually formed in November and then have kind of carried over into December, but December's had 28 named systems, so sometimes it does happen. Now, here we are in the uh, Caribbean. A lot of times it happens out here, and it's not a major uh, issue other than shipping concerns. Sometimes you get a little subtropical system spinning up in December, uh, well into the Atlantic, a lot of times in the North Atlantic. Not truly tropical in nature, but it could become a named system. Now, uh, closer to home, the water temperatures are still warm for activity, but this time of year and going forward, there's a lot more than the water temperatures. These water temperatures still near 29 degrees Celsius or low 80s Fahrenheit. So yeah, it's plenty warm for a system uh, to form. But what happens is this time of year, it's not so much what's going on in the water, it's what's going on up above our heads. A hostile environment, which is a good thing, and that prevents organization. Now, Earlier this year, we had a system, not too far away from December, form in January. It wasn't classified at the time, so it didn't get a name, but you see here, here's over toward Cape Cod and Massachusetts. Here's Nova Scotia, so the Atlantic region of Canada. There was a system in January, so this is exactly what I was talking about. It could happen, nothing on the horizon as of now, but you see this spin that did develop, very subtropical in nature. This was in January, and it did bring some gusty winds of uh, upwards of 60 plus miles miles per hour over 100, about 100 to 110 kilometers an hour to parts of uh, coastal sections of eastern Canada. Again, that was just in uh, January. Now, the last two names on the list this year, Vince and Whitney, not used. If a system does pop up, though, in December, we hang with this same list until the end of the year, and the new list for the upcoming season kicks in as we get into the uh, new year. So, getting a look at what's going on, nothing tropical in nature, watching a little system here that brought some rain to Texas, some rain back toward Louisiana, severe weather threat in the southern Gulf states of the United States. Keep an eye over toward Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, Alabama. It's been very active, even Arkansas. Now, spotty showers, that's going to be the rule today. We've had some dry air in place. So getting a look at what we could expect, I'll get into the forecast in a moment. Uh, but you see again, some of that moisture feeding in a pretty predominant easterly flow in the eastern Caribbean. That means as we get into our Friday, little uptick in some of the moisture, not widespread in Central America. Fortunately, a drop off. Some spots in Belize, we had some rain the last couple nights, the last couple days. There has been some areas of flooding, but it's even as we work our way into Saturday, rain chance not too high, a little bit isolated in variety, Antigua, Barbuda. By the time we get into Saturday afternoon, we could see a couple showers. So spotty in nature, Trinidad and Tobago, 50% chance tomorrow, a 40% chance on Saturday, 40% chance tomorrow in Grenada. So it's lower today, but it goes up a little bit. Same thing to the Grenadines Friday and Saturday. Uh, we'll see some scattered showers and storms. St. Lucia, 40% chance the next couple days. Better chance in St. Lucia, Barbados of getting some of that uh, rain, 50% chance. Even as we get toward uh, Martinique, a 40% chance the next couple of days. Upwards of a 50% chance of some spotty showers in Dominica. Keep me posted in the comments. 40% chance the next two days in Guadeloupe. Rain chance pretty minimal today in Tiga and Barbuda, but as I was showing you with that easterly flow, we could kick in some of those passing showers. They wouldn't last too long if you get one. Friday into the weekend, a 30% chance St. Kitts and Nevis, Matsurata passing shower, 20% chance today, Anguilla and St. Bart's. Rain chance about 30% uh, tomorrow and Saturday, St. Martin, St. and Stacia. Rain chance going up some in Puerto Rico, but nothing widespread. Again, still generally limited. U.S. and British Virgin Islands passing shower possible. Breeze at times. Rain chance 30% tomorrow in the Dominican Republic. Haiti, we are mainly dry, and if we are dry, we are still very hot this time of year. Jamaica, hit or miss shower. We've got a 30% chance, 30% chance in the Cayman Islands today, 20% chance uh, for us tomorrow. Belize, we're looking at a 40% chance that is down some. Still the chance of some scattered showers and storms and monitoring some of that residual kind of leftover flooding. Yucatan, a little more active uh, today and then uh, dropping off. Rain chance small through the Bahamas, 
hit or miss shower, some extra clouds at times, holding on to a 20% chance in Cuba the next couple days, 20% chance today in the Turks and Caicos, and a 20% chance the next couple days in Aruba. Rain chance about 20% through this weekend in Curacao. We've had some passing showers. 30% chance in Bermuda today, only a 5% chance for tomorrow. 50% chance in Costa Rica, but that's been trending down over the last several days. Uh, Northern Venezuela passing shower, passing shower in Guyana, and a passing shower will be possible in Suriname, 20 to 30% chance. Also monitoring those earthquakes. Again, over the last 24 hours, haven't seen anything crazy. Of course, there's been little uh, quakes around, but again, with what we had a couple days ago, watching it carefully for you, and thank you for sharing this channel to get the word out that I'm covering that for you as well. Now, down the road, I'll get into this more tomorrow. It looks Looks like that rain chance is going to increase in the southeastern Caribbean in a big way in December. So I'm going to cover that in Trinidad and uh, Tobago. Really look ahead. That'll be in tomorrow's video. Till then, some spotty showers and monitoring any subtropical spin ups. But happy last day of the hurricane season. I hope you're well. Have a good rest of your day.